This music is so peaceful. guys and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part we came back up to Skyloft after finishing the Earth Temple, screwed around, started some side missions, looked through the bazaar, you know, typical stuff. In this part we're going to be putting this tablet back into this tablet space and flying around the sky and doing stuff and picking up things and it's going to be cool. It's the final piece of the tablet, the... I forgot what it's called, sandstone tablet? No. I forgot what this part of the tablet's called. Uh, amber tablet? That would make sense. I'm trying to think of orange gems, but amber is just dried sap, so. Sparkly, 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 super sparkly, 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 sparkly. Gotta love sparklies. Fee, what the hell do you have to say? I've confirmed the location of a third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. Alright, awesome. At least she didn't say anything completely retarded that time. Fee might be more annoying than Navi, actually, after playing this game. One flaw with this game is Fee. I swear, I love this game so much, but Fee is just so goddamn annoying. She will never shut up, and that sucks because I hate hand holding. And she will ruin some of the puzzles if you listen to what she says, and that that's just does not fly with me. You get it? Fly, because we're in the sky, and this entire game's in the sky. I'm so funny with my puns. I'm hilarious. Not really. Okay. Let's call our bird. No! No, I didn't want to face plant. Call our bird. There we go. Second time's a charm. Alright, let's see if there's anything in the sky that I would like to pick up. Any chest? Oh god, there's a lot of chests. Okay, so first things first, this one appears to be the closest and most the other way. Where is it? I believe it's over here? Yeah, there it is. I can see the beacon. It's actually a lot easier to search th for things in the sky after this next chapter, because they uh, give you the power of multiple beacons. They give you five at a time, and that is actually quite useful. I don't know why they don't do that just right off the bat, but... Whatever. I could complain more, but, you know, whatever. Now, a lot of people seem to like the sea from Wind Waker a lot more than they like the sky in this game. I'm gonna go vice versa on that. I really like the sky more than the uh, Wind Waker sea, because the Wind Waker sea is quite barren for the most part. I mean, it does have quite a few things to do, but they're all really far from each other, and I hate sailing for long periods of time. Plus, there's no boosts or anything. Mm, let's just drop right here, and almost fell off the ledge. But what's in this chest? Something good, I presume? What would it be? You got a small seed satchel. Not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, I can sell that or at least keep it with me at this current moment. Yeah, I got two open pouches. I can keep that with me for now. Because uh, that lets me shoot ten more, and that gives me some slingshots, so I can actually... I'll shoot down Beetle if I was to go back right now, but I don't need to do that, so... Whatever. Take the beacon off, and the other two are over by Elden. This one's closer, so... Which way is Elden? Let's see. Over there. Alright. What was I dousing for, by the way? I actually didn't check. It was probably Zelda. Because we're always going to be dousing for Zelda until after this next temple. And then we're going to be dousing for other things. I actually like the uh, last four temples of the game more than the first three. But then again, the first two are really fun. The third one's kind of long, and I like the f the uh, general gimmick with it, but it's probably my least favorite dungeon. And uh, the last three main ones are uh, pretty good, and then there's one extra one afterwards. This game only has seven temples. Spoilers, but... I like the fourth one the best, the fifth one's my second favorite, and the sixth one is not bad, but it's not too memorable. I do like the Earth Temple. And Skyview Temple's not bad either. 
Really all the temples in this game are fun. Or whatever. Oh, by the way, I do want to upload a lot of Paper Mario. So there's not going to be too much of this. As I promised I would finish Paper Mario by May 3rd. I promised that back in November, so I am going to finish that. And I did start that LP two days before this one, so... Also, I gotta re-record the first two parts of this LP, because I had to delete them to get my 15 minute uploads back. But whatever. Ah, uh, there's an island over here. And it has a minigame, but we're probably not gonna play that for a long time, because there's nothing good in it currently. And honestly, I can wait. So, whatever. Let's just drop onto this island. It should have a chest. Oh god, my bird hit its head on the side of the building. Oh, my derpy bird. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the bird's name, but I'll do that after we open this chest. What's in it? 300 rupees! Boo, yeah! Hell yeah! Okay, the bird's name, by the way, the bird's name uh, I came up with, I, I asked what we should name it back quite a while ago. And uh, I was reading the comments in a dark room with one of my friends. In fact, it was in the gym room, and I was just checking my emails on my phone. And uh, one of the suggestions was Crimson Fury, but I misread it as the Crimson Furry. So now it shall be known as the Crimson Furry, and we are writing the Crimson Furry with Beaver. Because that sounds funnier to me, and I would rather be funnier than, than make it sound epic. Oh god, I'm gonna fly past it! Ugh. Just barely, barely made it. Okay, this is our final chest that we need to open, and we still have a lot of time, so we're probably going to enter the next area. What's in this chest? 100 rupees! And now our wallet's full! I'm going to actually head back to Skyloft real quick, and uh, buy some things from Beetle, so that our wallet is not completely full when we head off to the next area, because the next area will probably yield us about 300 rupees, approximately. I don't know. That's just what I figure. I mean, it doesn't have, like, a whole bunch of secret areas with money in it, but, you know, I am a money whore, and I will pick up money any time it is dropped anywhere. I will sacrifice my life for a one rupee. So, yeah, I pick up a lot of money. And actually, you do need a lot of money in this game, because your rupees don't go to waste for some reason. This is, like, the first game where that doesn't happen, where you're like, oh, I just have too many leftover rupees, and I don't know where to put them. The only other game where I don't really have a problem with rupees is Majora's Mask because of the bank system. But, yeah. Other games, I end up just filling up my wallet and then never spending it on anything. Because it's just a chore to go over to shops and buy stuff. And there's not really a good reason to because you can beat the game without it. But, some of the stuff in this game is so hard that it's actually good to bring potions and have them upgraded and whatnot. Yeah. But before I get off on a tangent, let's go ahead in here, and this is not where I wanted to come. Why did I walk in here? I'm freaking retarded. I wanted to go to Beetle Shop. Where is Beetle Shop, though? Beetle Shop is currently located to my right. There it is. Okay. Slingshot, don't fail me now. Slingshot, don't fail me now. Thank you. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab onto this. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna catch these butterflies real quick. Just because I can. Hopefully he doesn't... Okay, for a second there I thought he was... Luring that up and I was gonna be like, Oh, you dick beetle, you're leaving without me. Oh, that's our first blessed butterfly. Okay. Let's grab onto this. Have him haul us up. And, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and buy that... Uh, extra space for the adventure pouch, as it'll probably go to good use in the future. And, uh, actually, I could buy something even more useful. Oh, you know what? This is probably my best investment right now. Just buy another extra wallet first. Ah, uh, yes. Because then I will be able to hold up to 900. 900 is certainly good. Extra wallet, way to go! Now we can hold up to 900 rupees. Now we can buy that heart metal that's right there. And the heart metal, what it does is that it actually gives you an extra heart. And in order to get all 20 hearts of the game, you have to have both the heart metals in the game. But, let's pick up this adventure pouch, because that seems like a good idea. 300 rupees. Blow all of our money on an adventure pouch. And now we have an extra pocket. 
And only two spaces are missing. You are welcome, Beetle. I wonder if I walk outside and walk back in, he'll sell me another extra wallet, because I will gladly buy one right now. Ugh. Okay, let's walk back in. What do you have to offer me, Mr. Beetle? Anything new? Yes, yes. Thank you. I will gladly buy one more extra wallet. I believe there is only one more extra wallet after this in the entire game. So, that's good. I'd like to upgrade my wallet pretty much to the fullest it can be. Because uh, with one of those gratitude crystal amounts, it's one of the higher ones, you can actually get up to... What is it? It holds 9,000 rupees, plus the ability to uh, upgrade your wallet with extra wallets. You can hold 9,900 rupees, and that's just a lot. So, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, I believe that's all we can do currently. So, let's just fly off to the next area, and at least see the beginning of it, and the intro and whatnot, just because we can. And then we'll end the episode, because we still got four minutes left before I can call it an episode and be happy. So happy. This next area does have a kicking tune, though, although pretty much every place in, in this game has an awesome theme. I'm not really typically one for orchestrated music, but this game and Mario Galaxy... Really good. Really, really good. It's, as, uh, what's his name would say? I forget his name. Um, I lost the name. I can't remember. It's some creepy old British dude. Michael Rosen, that's it. But now it's not funny because I'm just, I spent forever thinking of it. A report, Master Beaver. We have arrived. Hey, Lanai, Rue, mine. Get them drums started, bro. This arid region was transformed into a desert over the course of several hundred years. My projections show that Zelda must have traveled through this area. Alright, cool! Let's go find ourselves the bird statue. It's right there. Do I really want to stop this soon? Uh, I don't. But I believe it's probably better otherwise. This episode is going to go for like 18 minutes and I don't want to go for a super long episode. So anyways, thank you guys for watching the next part. We're going to travel through Lanai Rouge Desert. See you guys then.